Morning. Hold it there, Arthur. Hold it there. So, uh, don't normally see me in here, do you? This is our embalming theatre, uh, dressing theatre where loved ones is brought into care and dressed and got ready. Uh, our big works of art. I don't know, it must be. Just give me a second. What time is it, David? Just about nine o'clock. Uh, and I've been busy working this morning, uh, getting someone dressed and getting them ready. And this is where it all happens. So I thought, well, I'll put some on in here to this. Normally, you don't see all this. <clears throat> but one or two people says, Show us in back, show us what you do. So I've been working today. Uh, with my assistant Arthur, who's a valuable member of the team, and Arthur's been with me for many years now, uh, and he's one of my most loyal uh, employees. You'll meet Arthur in a bit, I'll be still Arthur. So, here's what it's like in back of a funeral directors. Not all funeral directors have these facilities, uh, but these are what you actually aim to get. Uh, when you start up as a funeral director, it's, it's, it takes years and years to you know build your premises up. Uh, some people open up and they have nothing basically, uh, but we've it reinvested money all the time, and that's what it's about reinvesting. Messerling comes in other side of the Mortrix, it's quite a big place. This. So there's another part in there where there's a bank of fridges and, and all that was off in there. But I just thought I'd show you in here um, some of the things that we do uh, and some of the things that we uh, use while we're in here. Not everybody's going to like this uh, YouTube thing, so this isn't for everybody. So if you don't want me to explain or, or go into anything with any detail, switch off and then uh, press subscribe because I might put some on that you do like. But I think the funeral industry should be open and transparent. Uh, I think that we should. Actually, we had an open day where we invited public in and they actually walked around here, people, we had it for five days, or well, five evenings, uh, just to show people dispel myths. As I was saying yesterday in one of my blogs, the film there to show you the cars, they show you the premises, the reception and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, some people's interested in that, I'd be Arthur, but not everybody's interested in that. A lot of people wanna they wanna see where the loved ones are looked after and that it's alright, that, that it's how it should be. Uh, so I'll take you for a walk around the laundry. I'm gonna have to hold it now. Hold it still, Arthur. <laughs> I think he's been on a drink. He'll, he'll like he's rocking a bit. Anyway, I'm gonna flick my back thing up. Because I've got this back thing on this. So I can. Sorry, I'm more old place, aren't I? Then I can see what you're seeing. Ah, that's it. I'm there with my blue arm. So armbands is obviously uh, stock shirt and stuff like that. Mm. That's not, that's a bit better. Some of the equipment that we use. So this is Lichner. I think just about every undertaker in country has this. And it's a powder. It's hard to do this and all while I've got that. Let me put that down there. That's it. So Lichner. All this is, it's a powder. So, that's it. And it, it's very similar to skin. So, that's my hand. Bear Lichner on it. So, if there's any discoloration, oh, put that on and you build it up. Stage makeup, basically. There, I'm back down. You know, you can see me. So, that's that. That's Lichner. You just, Nearly, nearly dropped it. So we use that and brushes and stuff like that. 
suturing. So this stuff, this is uh, for stitching. Glues, different types of glue. Sometimes if you take a pacemaker out, uh, which is here, so we 